Hello everybody, welcome to RimWorld. Now RimWorld is a 2D top-down colony building space survival game, I guess you could say. Now in the background of this video you will see my first and then second attempt at building a colony after I'd built the tutorial, or done the tutorial for the game, which I didn't even do completely, because both of which ended in funny moments, so I thought I'd record it just to see how I fare for the start of the game. Now, I will be doing more videos on RimWorld, and they will follow the third attempt at building a colony, which at the moment, as it stands, is a stable base. However, I don't know how long that'll go on for, so those videos should come out soon. The videos I'll be aiming for will probably be about 20 minutes, give or take. I think that's a good time. I'll probably make quite a lot of progress in those 20 minutes. They'll be cut up relatively, not too much. And they'll have either live commentary or post commentary, depending on the scenario I find myself in. Also as well, come into the channel, Factorio. Factorio's great and I'm going to be playing with a friend. Ultra modded, we're going to have loads of mods. We're aiming for at least over 50 mods, possibly and hopefully more, depending if his computer can run it. So that'll be fun, so look out for that come to the channel. There's a few other games on the drawing board I'd like you to look at. They'll come to the channel possibly, and the channel is getting a, a redo. I've talked about this before in the past, the channel getting a redo, and I think now is finally the time. It's going to be renamed, going to have new channel art, new channel logo. Everything's going to change. The, the Terraria videos I will keep up. I might unlist them and put them in a playlist separately for people who still want to watch them. However, I feel like... For the most part, I can just get rid of them, or as I say, unlist them, private them. Because I want to move past that now. The new channel, it doesn't really have a specific game to focus on. As I say, I'll be doing RimWorld, I'll be doing Factorio. I kind of would like to do Dwarf Fortress and Towns as well, which are in similar styles, similar style gameplay as RimWorld. We'll see, we'll see as it comes, and I might, you know, I might in the future revisit Terraria. I doubt it, but, you know, it's always there. So this has just been... A small, small update video, I guess. As you can see, the rim world is in the background. Talking about the gameplay now, we're going to cut to the first attempt at building the colony. Where I found a, a mysterious wall and I was like, oh, well, you know, I may as well dig in. It might be some treasure, might be, might be something important or worth value. I didn't really see the message warning us not to go in. So, to my surprise, when I broke in, I found two mechanoid worms. One with a minigun and one with like some form of pulse gun and also a scyther who had a pulse gun as well. And as if this wasn't bad enough and I actually eventually managed to incapacitate them as you can see in the uh, in the footage. After this, if this wasn't bad enough, from the cryopods, five or six people who were against me like from an enemy faction, they pop out, start firing and eventually I lose my last survivor. So, you know, that was a, a pretty good attempt. Now cutting to the second attempt for the colony, you can see that there was a pack of boomalope nearby where I'd set up. And I was decided, you know, I was, I, was, I was new to the game, I was having a little bit of fun. So I thought I'd I'd shoot one of them and I kept on shooting and shooting and I set all of them to hunt because I'm a little bit silly. And as I expected, they blow up and I was like, oh, that, that's cool, that's cool. I mean, that was kind of expected. It won't be that bad, but little did I know how bad flames spreading uh, in RimWorld. I didn't really know how to firefight either. I eventually got the prompt, but... So the flames grew out in a in a massive circle. This ripped right through. It burned all of my food. It burned all of my medicine, or at least most of it. And it burned all of my wood as well, which means I couldn't construct anything. So my survivors were starving. They couldn't construct anything. Uh, one of them fell asleep, like, next to the fire, and the fire eventually caught up, as you can see there. So it was it was really, really hectic. But it was, it was really funny at the same time. And also as well, I was left with one, eventually I was left with one colonist who, out of pure hunger, picked up one of the previously dead. And he just ate her. He, I think he bit off a leg and an arm, a left leg and a left arm whole. He got food poisoning, naturally. It's not a good thing to do. And eventually he died, but another a naked one had appeared, like a, another naked colonist. He appeared. He helped somebody who was off, who was downed. But that person who was downed then died of infection later on. So it was all for nothing. So there you go. That's been the first two attempts. The third one will be coming soon, as mentioned. I hope you've enjoyed, you know, this quick update, quick clarification on what's happening. Look forward to the new RimWorld series and the other game series. They will be coming out relatively soon. Starting with, hopefully, the RimWorld tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you for sticking around if you're still somehow subscribed and I don't really know why. But if you are, 
thank you very much and have a nice day.